Neuroborreliosis is generally known to be a disease which is confined to the western part of the globe. Now we all not have heard much about it, isn't it? It is not commonly encountered in our part. Now neuroborreliosis is a disorder of the central nervous system which has a neurological manifestation of Lyme's disease. Neuroborreliosis is caused by a systemic infection of spirochetes of the genus Borrelia. Hello and welcome to Medical Dialogues Journal Club, your daily dose of health and medical news. I am Dr. Nandita Mohan and today I am going to discuss about this rare condition. Recently, a study published in the Journal of the Associations of Physicians of India came across a series of cases of Lyme's disease with a plethora of neurological presentations. Most of the cases were a diagnostic dilemma with poor response to immunotherapy and even on subsequent evaluation were all found to have positive Borrelia antibodies. Eight cases were selected from the tertiary care hospital in northwestern India. Patients were subjected to have neuroborreliosis whose neurological presentations were atypical for any other classical neurological disorders who had a progressive or a relapsing clinical course and had responded very poorly to the initial treatment given for the previous neurological diagnosis. Skin lesions were present in some cases. The patients underwent a detailed clinical assessment which comprised of an elaborate history including the history of travel, any insect bite or skin rashes along with a complete systemic and neurological evaluation. All the required blood investigations, the MRI, brain, CT scanning, the CT angiography, the nerve conduction study as well as EMG studies as well as the CSF studies were all done indicated in each case. Borrelia antibody titer was also done in all the patients using an immunoblot technique. So among the 8 patients, 6 were male and 2 were females. The age group were between 25 to 70 years. The clinical presentation was acute, subacute, or even chronic. One patient gave a clear history of tick bite, 2 patients had skin lesions and one also had a pathonomic eschure. So all the suspected 8 patients had either an IgG or an IgM or both IgG and IgM Borrelia antibodies as positive. Among all the patients had previously received either steroids or an IV immunoglobins but had not adequately responded to immunotherapy. Now these patients were given a trial of injectable ceftrioxone as well as an oral doxycycline. Most of them either showed partial or a complete clinical improvement. So the researchers concluded that Lyme's disease, a common disease of the West, does exist in the Indian subcontinent as well. Because of an increasing global travel and migration and change in the vector habitat, the disease did seem to have percolated in the non-endemic areas too. So proper history of travel or an exposure to tick bite is hence important. So to emphasize, neuroborreliosis is a great mimicker, may have diverse and varied neurological presentations and has a potential for reversibility with appropriate treatment even after a significant delay in diagnosis. That's all for today. Stay tuned to Medical Dialogues for latest updates. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe and press the bell icon.